Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, first things first, changed my background. Well, I didn't change it, well, I did. Uh, I just flipped the, the camera around. Just facing a slightly more interesting scene where I've actually got stuff. So, um, you don't have to look at a plain wall and bedding. You can look at makeup and brushes and tiny plants, so yay. Let me know what you think of it, if you actually like this set, this, this background, do you prefer it? What do you think? Is the lighting okay? I need to know. But yeah, this video is a, a very natural look, natural makeup, glowy, healthy looking skin, fresh, all them sexy words, you know. So um, it's dead easy, dead quick. But yeah, before we begin, please, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please, that'd be awesome. And like the video as well. And yeah, let's get into the video. I'm really not sure how the lighting is gonna work in this. Clearly, it's a disaster. I have a feeling it's gonna mess up on and off, but I thought I'd start with doing my eyebrows. Now, I'm gonna use the Primark brow pencil that I have been using ever since I bought it. And this is two pounds, so I'm just gonna fill those in. I'm just gonna use the powder to fill in the front of my brows and then I'm gonna spill it through. Now for me, I like, well, I like to have a glowy base. However, I find that I need full coverage for my skin. So a lot of glowy bases are usually light and natural. So I usually find it hard to have a glowy base and full coverage. And actually, I still do. So I don't have a full coverage foundation. What I've got though is these two products that I have tried this one once, not tried this one yet. And I really, really like this so far. It's the L'Oreal Bonjour Nudista uh, Awakening Skin Tint. Now I got mine in medium dark, which is slightly too dark, but what can you do, hey? And then I've also got the L'Oreal Glow Mon Amour Highlighting Drops. So this is actually super glowy anyway, and it's obviously, as it says, it's a skin tint. It's very natural, but I'm gonna mix this in to give it a super um, radiant look. Um, obviously I haven't got a primer because I think that with a skin tint you don't need to prime, it kind of just, it's just supposed to be easy. So I'm gonna pop a splodge of this on the back of my hand. Now I've never used these before, so you can see they're super luminous. I'm gonna put one big fat, one and a half blobs on there, and then I'm gonna mix it with my finger. Ooh, that looks nice actually. It's come out as a really nice colour. Do you know what? Blinds ain't good. I look like a grilled chicken. This is ridiculous. So I'm just gonna put that on my face and use a foundation brush to put it all over. Now this isn't gonna give me the coverage that I would prefer. However, sometimes I actually don't mind not having full coverage. I mean, I personally don't mind not having a pigmentation covered, but hey ho. I'm gonna need a little bit more than I thought. The only downside to having to squeeze products into the back of your hand is that the back of your hand soaks up like 90% of the product, so. I will say, I do really like these glow drops. I think they are really nice. They don't feel very greasy either. And my skin does look very luminous, very luminous. I actually really like how glowy that looks on my skin. So for concealer, I still need a good coverage concealer because mama's got some dark circles. So I've got the Laura Mercier Ultra something or other. Ultra Long Wear Concealer Flawless Fusion and mine's in the shade 3N. Now I only got this, what, like two days ago and she said it's very dewy so that's why I'm using it. So I'm gonna pop that underneath my eyes. And I'm just gonna blend that out with my concealer brush. I am torn between setting this concealer and not setting it. I won't set it but I'll see how it goes because obviously I don't know it that well. I don't know it on a personal level. So you know it's really <laughs> do i look amazing or something no i'm kidding I, I i'm kidding i'm kidding okay so we've had a bit of fun with the drugstore base now i've got my chanel bronzer so i'm going to take my primark kabuki brush and i'm going to use it to bronze my skin i have got the l'oreal new bronzer but i want to try and stick to cream where possible so i'm just gonna swirl it around and then blend Ooh. I'm saying ooh, not because it's nice, but just because my skin's just a joke. I know it doesn't look like it on camera, but I uh, don't like it. <laughs> this is so easy to use as well. I feel like this is gonna last me forever, this pot. Okay, that's just like a nice natural bronze, super glowy, 
super natural. Now I'm going to use a powder product. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush, which is from their new range. Now this has actually got a slight sheen to it, so it does look really nice and healthy on the skin. And by the way, this smells like uh, peach snaps. So really good okay now this is seriously amazing this product so to highlight i'm going to use the l'oreal la vie en glow highlight powder palette and this is in 01 warm glow so you get four highlights and these are literal four one two three four literally butter like pure butter they're not creams by the way they are powders but they're so so soft so buttery they do have a lot of fallout like and i mean a lot of fallout but i kind of don't mind in this instance so i'm just going to mix the first two shades together and highlight <sighs> every time i just can't believe how good it is look at that look at it and it just meshes with the skin so nicely too i always overdo the chin don't i Okay, now the base is fully done, super natural base. Um, I'm going to actually use the bronzer, it's called Back to Bronze by L'Oreal, and I'm going to use that in the crease of my eye. I'm not actually going to use any eyeshadows today. I'm just going to use this in the crease, just to kind of tie in with the rest of the bronzy look. And I don't want anything too heavy, on, like, colour-wise on my eyes either. By the way, I haven't set this concealer and it's only creased a little bit. That's really good, because concealer creases on me, like no matter what so that's pretty good I'm gonna put some on the lower lashes and then for the lid I'm literally gonna take one of the highlight shades and just pop that on the lid quite messy now normally I would add wing liner but I'm not going to I'm gonna resist because this is supposed to be dead quick dead easy I am gonna add some waterline liner though because I do look like some out of the walking dead otherwise so I've got the Marc Jacobs highliner gel eye crayon in blacker which is just a black eyeliner but it's the best black eyeliner in the world and i'm just gonna line my waterline i might even tight line as well oh i forgot to do some brow highlight so i'm gonna use that primark brow pencil brow highlighter that i used in my primark testing video it's this one that comes in the set just throw on some mascara this is the benefit bad gal bang now i never wear a cream lipstick these days ever i don't know why i just tend to go for mattes but i got this one from l'oreal it's the color shine which just sounds awful to me like it's something that i never go for but um boots was on three for two and it looks kind of cute when i swatched it so this is in the shade hot irl which means hot in real life um okay and i'm gonna just apply that on my lips without a lip liner what do we think of this colour? Hmm. Do you know what? It's not sticky. It's very like slidey, slippery. Uh, the colour with this natural look. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like I would have wanted to go for more like a more nude gloss, paler nude gloss, but this works <laughs> but this is the finished look it's super easy as you can see i've literally just run through all the steps there quick and it looks really glowy natural natural for what i'd normally wear anyway and yeah it looks really really nice so i i really like this this is definitely a look that i'm going to be wearing a lot in spring because i don't like looking dead heavy you know day to day i just think it looks a bit much a bit much so this is quite nice um but if you did enjoy the video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye